so this is definitely an intricate, intricate or a complicated one. Um, now, if you see the sattva of food, which I think was our opening statement. Now, if you see Ayurveda, they believe in, you know, the, the chi or the sattva. Yeah. Now, that's something that we cannot debate about and, you know, uh, how the energy flows. So there are many outlook or uh, many opinions about that. But uh, in my practice, I have dealt with different kinds of athletes uh, who practice vegetarianism. Thankfully, I haven't uh, met a very strict vegan yet. Um, I do have athletes who consume non-vegetarian foods. Now, uh, like I aptly said, you need to individualize that and you need to understand what is the, the criteria when you plan, a, say, a sports nutrition you know, meal plan. Now, what is the age? Uh, what is the culture of the family or the tradition? Like I know children who do consume eggs and chicken outside of home, but due to cultural practice, sometimes they're taboo to bring it inside the house. Mm -hmm. Now, so, uh, and like you actually said, um, I think sometimes non-veg does receive a bad rap. I'm mostly 99% vegetarian because we do not uh, uh, prepare non-veg at home. Now, uh, but that, that again is very uh, a personal choice. I think in India, uh, there are wide spectrum of, you know, uh, diet practices. So um, the red meat, obviously, or for that matter, non-veg itself has higher quality protein from the red meat, having more B vitamins, the more easily absorbable heme ion to creatine, the protein content can be quite easy when you plan a meal plan and, you know, an athlete consumes non-veg. But we also have, in my practice, I've been very fortunate. I have also dealt with some national level athletes. For that matter, I have I have a, uh, an uh, uh, ultra endurance athlete who's uh, you know done these forest runs and uh, who was practicing vegetarianism and also wanted to go vegan. Now, what happens there is you just have to understand uh, that you could still cater to their needs, but you just have to look at larger meals because the quality of protein. The dal's lacking methionin, the cereals lacking lysine, so complementation. Like in India, we typically do eat a combination, you know, uh, fermented, you know, like pancakes called dosas and idlis, and or for that matter, even just your rice and beans, you know, or your toast and beans or rice and uh, dal. So we have little, you know, porridge styles of, you know, food that we eat called khichdi, pongal. So Indian mixed meal is actually quite balanced, I'd say. You know, because nobody just eats. Sometimes, yes, there are there are some who do eat heaps of carbohydrate, be it rice or similar style, because Indians do eat a lot of, consume a lot of carb heavy meal. Uh, but otherwise, if you are particular about the traditionally the way our meals were cooked, uh, typically lunch or dinner will always be some combination of rice rotis with, you know, a dal or a curry, which is made with lentils, pulses, and there's always a lot of vegetables used. So if you do practice the traditional style of cooking, uh, I think you are really sorted. You don't have to deviate much and you can, you can be ensured of, um, you know, uh, healthy or balanced meals. But provided if you are an athlete, that's where the challenge of getting larger protein amount can be um, a hassle or, you know, uh, a problem. So there, that's when we kind of look at, you know, supplements. And today we, uh, thanks to what was that, uh, the documentary, um, uh, the very famous documentary, which was uh, quite, it stirred quite an uproar. The vegan one, you mean? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, game, I, I game changer, what was that? Yes, yeah, so, something like that. Yeah, the game changer, I think. Yeah. So, so yes, uh, so t a lot of, uh, like you actually said, you know, uh, there are a lot of guys who get influenced by what they hear and, you know, uh, read on the internet. So, uh, but there are uh, definitely more challenges also to uh, vegetarian or vegan diet. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's why we look at supplementation. So you have uh, now plant-based supplements, you the pea protein, the uh, mixed proteins are better because then there are there is a balance of amino acids. Mm -hmm. So not just protein, but then in veganism there are um, uh, there is a nutritional deficiency typically being iron because uh, with a high fiber and a lot of phytic acids, so the absorption of certain important minerals come down. Mm -hmm. That being iron and calcium, 